Welcome to the first proper pest of the year. Um, we're just going to look at some warm-ups and some useful tools for us to play with. They're going to make our life a little bit easier. Uh, just to help you with the coming Comp 1 exam. So what are we going to look at? Uh, I think we should be able to generate an ordered deck. This might come up in the exam, but even if it doesn't, uh, it's going to be massively useful for testing, especially if we're going to be shuffling and sorting, maybe searching for a posi particular position, that's some malarkey. Just going to make life monumentally easier for us to, to do some testing. Uh, also being able to display the deck. Once we've got this function, we can fertile with it and have it so we just display a certain part of it. So that's going to be uh, helpful. Uh, I also think particularly if we're going to be doing some tracing on the uh, of shuffling, being able to shorten the name, because having the, f the, f the full name is a bit of a faff at the moment. Uh, and of course, being able to add a new menu item is an old favourite, probably will be part of a, a, a question somewhere along the line, but also just, just makes it easier. So let's have a look at the strategy for creating an ordered deck. Uh, remember, I'm doing the pest slightly differently this year. So rather than uh, give you the solution straight away, this video is just going to give you the tasks. But I'm going to be fairly friendly with the strategy. So you're going to create a new procedure. I'd like to use the, a particular name, Create Order Deck, mainly because when we're doing this later, I'll be able to refer to it. Uh, we're going to pass the deck by ref as the structure T card or the record T card I should say um, and that should be fairly obvious if you look at the code then you've got a couple of um, for loops nested in that basically allow you to loop through the four suits and then the 13 ranks uh, it wasn't how I s solved it the first time but I think it is clearer with the nested for loops uh, I started out using um, uh, mod and uh, division uh, operators to generate the combinations just on a, a loop from 1 to 52. Either either would do. You could play with both if, you, if you're into that. And then of course we're going to assign that back to the deck parameter. From that you should be able to create a fairly good solution. Uh, right, let's have a look at part B. Display the deck. Relatively simple. Uh, create a new procedure, call it display deck. Pass the deck as T card by val. A little bit weird that because arrays of records are a reference structure. So uh, even though I'm passing it by val, it doesn't really make a lot of difference. The only reason I'm saying it is that about four or five years ago, I think possibly for the Hangman game, uh, they did quite a lot of passing by val of reference structures. Um, and when I queried it, uh, it didn't seem to be a problem. So I want to say by Val, but it doesn't actually make a huge difference if you do some testing. Then we're going to have a for loop within through the deck and take those uh, the suit and rank fields and use get suit and get rank uh, within some concatenated string and right line it to the right line it to the console. Fairly straightforward. Uh, the short and card names would use exactly the same strategy as the display deck but rather than having the full names and I might cut to the, dis to the, to the, to the program running so you can see what I mean rather than having the, the full names uh, we could change an ace to an A and then the card suit just to the first letter so the rank would be ace, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king and the suits would be clubs, diamonds, hearts, spades there's nothing wrong with copy and pasting, so that's what I would do. And then you can just rename uh, your pasted procedures. Need to be a little bit careful, obviously. And then you can just change the values in the case statement to uh, get suit and get rank. So that's the job done. I'm just going to pause this and pull up the procedure so you can see what I mean. Okay, so I've um, just run my display deck. And you can see uh, 
that if I just use it, it's all a bit higgledy piggledy. And can you imagine if I had sort of dozens of rows of this or dozens of columns of this because I'm tracing a, a search or a shuffle or something like that, it'd be a right pain. So uh, instead, what we're going to do is alter those uh, procedures which are here. So they're currently like this, and obviously you'll copy and paste it and make the changes. And then this will be your output. And in fact, I've added the of in there, but it didn't have to be there. It could just be AC, 2C, 3C, etc. And um, even without a space, that'd be, that would end up being really quite compact and uh, efficient. So, we are back and the final thing is just to make sure that we can add the menu item. I'll be honest with you, I'm just keeping it quick and dirty, not bothering with any of this. I'm just adding on um, hidden options within the menu, but you might as well learn how to do it properly, uh, just so you can keep in tabs of what you've changed. Uh, just make sure you can test new sequences, this is the quickest way of doing it. Uh, and obviously you're going to add to display menu, change the selection statement in the main uh, procedure, and if you've added some validation, don't forget that you'll have to add that, otherwise it won't work. I'm not going to show you that at the moment. So, I'm going to post solutions to those four little pestettes, if you like. Uh, if you have a look on the wiki book, uh, there's some solutions to these already that other people have created. But I'd hope, rather than going straight to that, you'll enjoy working these out. Uh, and just rely on... Uh, so hints and tips. If you've got any questions, feel free to post a comment and I'll reply to as many as possible. Enjoy.